But I tell you, those were the moments where God really showed up and really imparted into me and really set me free. You've heard me say a lot about deliverance and healing and restoration and full gospel on this channel. And in this video, I just want to dig a little bit deeper why healing and deliverance and that part of the gospel is so important to me and why I believe it should be for you as well. The simple and very short answer is that without deliverance and healing and a true touch of God and true deliverance from God, I believe I wouldn't be here right now and I wouldn't be the person that I am right now. Now to explain this, I need to give you a little bit of context about me personally, my life and what I mean. I think confronted with the gospel I was when I was about 16 or 17 in 2005 I think. And you have to know that I really at that time as a teenager was very broken, was very emotionally sick you could say and unhealthy. My dad left us when I was about two years old. I was very hurt, I was very angry, I was very bitter and in that stage I was really asking God are you real? And he showed me very drastically. He encountered me, he started to set me free, started to touch and heal that pain. But see deliverance is a process so I wasn't free like that and it took another two years until I actually committedly gave my life to Christ and decided to live my life every day with Jesus from that day forward. As you maybe know, life with Jesus does not mean everything is better. Life with Jesus means that you live your life with Jesus from now on and that you don't live your life alone and that once you die, whenever that moment is, you go to heaven, you live eternal, you live with Jesus. So I was still struggling even though God was delivering me from one thing after another. I was trained, I was discipled, but I still had my stuff that I struggled with and then the cancer rolled along. God healed me of that cancer, which was a life-threatening situation, but even that was not really that hard. It was physically hard and it was emotionally straining. But in that time, really, I can say my, my faith was the top. I never had that much faith. I never, or ever again, actually, had that strong and intimate relationship with Jesus. My, my, my spiritual life was through the roof. Even though I had, you know, my ups and downs even there because cancer. So physically I would say yes, you know, that was a real attack and God healed me and you know, of course I would say that's one of the reasons why I say hey, if God wouldn't have healed me and delivered me I wouldn't be here now. But after that I had situations where I was very, very close to giving up. Well, I have to, I have to clarify just a little bit on this part. That was a time where the enemy really pushed me hard and pushed me bad. <laughs> pushed all the buttons, everything he got, he threw at me. Even though the cancer situation was rough, it wasn't nearly as rough emotionally and spiritually as this time that came after, the years that came after, the five years maybe that came after that. I went really through some dark, spiritually dark moments where I came very, very close to giving up everything, giving up, you know, Jesus and everything. But the only thing that really carried me through was obviously God's grace, God's forgiveness, God's willingness to be there every single time, every single moment, but also knowing how to do spiritual warfare and how to polish the armor, how to practically take up the sword through spiritual warfare, healing and deliverance, who's standing up and getting up again, taking up the shield of faith through spiritual warfare and healing and deliverance that, you know, only Jesus could do. That was nothing that I did or that I, you know, put on my own flag and my own crown or whatever. That's something Jesus did in that moment, that Jesus taught me in that moment. I was that close to giving up and just giving it all to God and just saying, you know what, I give up. But I tell you, those were the moments where God really showed up and really imparted into me and really set me free. And if I wouldn't have known how to deal with it spiritually and in a spiritual warfare, I think I wouldn't be here now. If God wouldn't work through deliverance, I wouldn't be here now. I encourage you that you see God in deliverance and that you really 
learn spiritual warfare and learn to do deliverance.